Hello, good day viewers. Uh, welcome to another mathematics lesson. This is your presenter, Mr. Mlenga. So right here with me, I've got um, this simple work that I want us to look at. I've been receiving a lot of uh, questions via my inbox concerning how you can know that you're supposed to use the sine rule and the cosine rule when it comes to solving of non-right angle triangles using a trigonometry okay so this is our part one of the video so we are going to start with the, the cosine rule so what is this cosine rule okay so the cosine rule is just um, a rule that is used to solve non-right angled what, triangles so when we say non-right angled triangles it means that these triangles they don't have uh, same sides okay meaning that all the sides are different they also don't have same angles inside, okay? These are what we call non-right angle D triangles, okay? So, apart from that, we must know that when you are using the cosine rule, two sides and the included angle are given, okay? Two sides and the included angle are given. Apart from that, three sides can be given. So, these are the most important concepts that you must take note of when it comes to using the cosine what cosine rule okay so i've said first thing they are going to give you uh two sides okay they are going to give you two sides so two sides the two sides and the given angle okay two sides And the included angle. That's our first point, okay? Point number two. We can be given all the three sides. So, three sides are given, okay? So, this is what you must take note of. In order for you to use the cosine rule, number one, they are going to give you two sides and the included what angle. Okay? So once they give you two sides and the included angle, okay? It means that they want you now to find the third side. Okay? If they give you two sides and the included angle, they want you to find the third uh, side. Okay? Point number two. To use the cosine rule, they can give you three sides. Okay? Three sides are given. No angle is given. So if they give you three sides, it means that they want you to find an angle. Okay? So let me now explain on the two points that have written on the board. We are going to start with when the three sides are, are given. So we are going to start with when all the three sides are given. Okay? So when all three sides, all three sides given. Okay? Now, how can you use the cosine rule when all the three sides are given? Okay, so to use the cosine rule when all the three sides are given, it means that they want you to find an angle. Okay, they want you to find an angle. That's the meaning. So, how can we find now this angle? So, take note of, we have A, B, C. So these are capital letters. So these capital letters are presenting angles, okay? They are presenting what? Angles. Then we have this side A or an angle at A. To the corresponding side right here, we are going to have a small letter A. So this small letter A will present the length of BC. I know this is BC, but I'll use A to present the side for BC, okay? Then... Here, I know that I've got C, which is an angle at C. Now, to present the side for AB, I use small letter C. Then, right here, I've got an angle at B. So, to present this side for the length of AC, I'm going to use small letter B. So, this is one thing that you must know. Okay. So, we know the, we know how we can find the angles now. So, here, 
if you are finding an angle at A right here, if you are finding an angle at A, okay, you are going to consider this length AC where we have B and this AB where you have AC. So these two, you are going to add them, okay? So, in order for you to come up with the formula that you can use for this one, you are just going to say, cos, because I'm finding an angle at A, so I'll say cos A equal to. So, I've said if you're finding an angle at A, you use this B and C, okay? So, you add these two. We know that under cosine rule, you are supposed to add them, okay? Though, I've not... Um, shown you i've not proved that we can come up with that formula okay so bc we are going to say b squared plus c squared now where this angle a is pointing right here is corresponding to this side where there is a so it's going to subtract a squared over now over two then you get this one b and c you put them down over two bc so that is the formula you can use if you are finding an angle at what at a so i hope um, it's clear i hope it's clear now let us see how can we find an angle at b or c okay so if you want to find an angle which is um right here say for example you want to find an angle at b Okay, you want to find an angle right here, an angle at B. How can you find it? Okay, let's see how we can find it now. Alright, so if you are finding an angle at B right here, so if you are finding an angle at B, okay, remember all the three sides are given. So if they ask you to say, solve or calculate angle c b a okay they want to find an angle at b so the way you are going to find this angle you are going to say cos b is equal to okay so since we are finding an angle at b you are going to use this side and this side you add these two sides so this one you say a squared plus c squared minus so where this angle b is corresponding we have the side b okay so it's going to subtract this where we say minus b squared over 2 ac okay so this is the formula that you can use to find an angle at b so i hope uh, we are moving together i hope we are moving together right there Okay, I hope we are moving together. So, that is what you must know. If you are finding an angle at A right here, you consider this side and this side. You square B squared plus C squared. Okay, then you subtract this corresponding side for angle A over 2BC. If you are finding an angle at B, you square A squared plus C squared. Okay. Minus the corresponding side for this angle B, which is a B squared over 2AC. Okay. Now, let's say we want to find an angle at what? C. Right there. Try. Pause the video. See how you can come up with the formula which you can use to find an angle at, at C. Alright. So, I hope you have found your answer. Now, let's just compare. Okay. So, all the three sides are given. We know that you should apply the cosine rule. Okay? So when all the three sides are given, they will ask you to find an angle, either an angle at A or an angle at B or an angle at C. Very important to know that under the cosine rule. So if we want to find an angle at C right here, the corresponding side for this C is this uh, side, small C. Okay? So if I'm finding an angle at C, I'll say cos c equal to so we are going to use this side and this side so it's a squared plus b squared a squared plus b squared then minus the corresponding side for angle c which is a small letter c squared okay over what are you going to put over 2 
a b okay we have come up with our formula right there okay come up with our formula which is very simple and straightforward so let us now look at an example okay so i hope uh, you have understood you have gotten something how you can find the angles once they are given all the three sides using the cosine what the cosine rule okay so let us look at an example all right so we have an example now on the board we have um, given the triangle abc okay uh, the line ac is equal to 11 cm ab is equal to 16 cm bc is equal to 13 cm calculate angle acb so the letter that is on the middle simply means that that is the angle they want so calculate angle acb so the letter on the middle is a c so meaning that they want us to find an angle at c so an angle will be right here this is where we have c so what are we being given all the three sides are given all the three sides are given okay so remember if you're given all the three sides you must use the cosine rule okay to find an angle of which they have said angle a c b and angle at c so let us identify the sides okay so the sides that you are going to have here we have c then here we have we are going to have a small letter c so here it's a small letter c presenting the length of a b here we have b this side you are going to have a small letter b presenting the length of a c here we have uh, a this side you are going to have a small letter A presenting the length of B, C. That is step one, okay? That is step one. So, how can we find an angle at C right here? How can we find this angle? So, to find this angle, we are just going to come up with a formula that we can use to find the angle at C using the cosine what? The cosine rule. Alright, so, let's see how we can answer it. So, remember... If you are finding an angle at C, you are going to use this side and this side. You square them, then you add them. So we are going to say cos C is equal to, so this side you have a small b, this side you have a letter A. So we are going to say A squared plus B squared minus, the corresponding side for angle C is where we have letter C. So it will be minus c squared over 2ab like this okay so upon identifying that we are going just to fuse in where i will say cos c equal to a we know that there is 13 so this is uh 13 squared plus b is right here which is 11 so 11 squared minus c is this side where we have 16 so minus 16 squared over 2 times this means 2 times a times b so our a is a 13 2 times 13 times our b it's 11 like this okay so from there we are just going to to punch on your calculator you just punch 13 squared plus 11 squared minus okay minus 16 squared so what are you going to get so just punch on the calculator and see what um, you're going to get all right so uh, i hope you have punched on your calculator so we are going to get something like this we are going to say uh cos c equal to, so 13 squared it's 169 uh, 11 squared it's uh, 121 okay minus then 16 squared we are going to get what 16 squared we are going to get uh, 162 okay so 16 squared this will give us 162 i i hope we are punching then when you multiply 2 times 13 times 11 2 times 13 times 11 that will give us a uh, that will give us what? Okay. So let's punch. All right. So uh, I was punching on the calculator. Yeah. So for 16 squared, I said 162. That should be 
256. Yes, 16 squared should be 256. So, right here, where I wrote 162, it should be a 200, a 256. Okay, so, uh, what you are going to do now is this. I'll punch everything on the calculator and see what I'm going to, to remain with. Okay. Right, so we punch now on the calculator 169 plus 121 minus 256. This will give us a 34. So it will be because C is equal to 34 divided by 286. Alright, so uh, from here we are going to write 34 over 86. Okay. So after our calculations, we have cos C is equal to 34 over 286. So since we want to find the value of uh, C, which is an angle right here, so we need to get rid of this cos. Okay. So to get rid of the cos, we are going to have C equal to, meaning this is angle C equal to. This cos will be the cos inverse of 34 divided by 286 so uh that's what you are, you are going to have now from there just punch just punch on your calculator where you say shift cos inverse of this okay it's going to give you something like this so i'm going to have angle c equal to to give us something like this 83.17 Two four six six eight two. That is the value we are getting after we press cos, uh, shift cos inverse of thirty four divided by two hundred and eighty six. We are getting eighty three point one seven two four six six eight two. So we want to find the, the angle. So we should leave our answer correct to one decimal place. Okay. So. You are going to say, therefore, okay, therefore, angle C is equal to 83 point. So, this uh, one will be rounded off by 7. So, it will be 2 degrees. So, meaning that at this, ang uh, at this angle C, we had 83.2 degrees. So, um, I hope you have gotten something there. So, we've come to the end of our lesson. Okay, remember I said this is part A. This is part A. Okay, meaning that there are other parts that I'm going to, to release very soon. So, look out for those parts. Okay, on my YouTube channel, even on my TikTok channel. So, thank you so much everybody for having time to view this content. Bye-bye.